How much does it cost to build an online course? Do you have an idea for an online course but are wondering how much it will cost to create it? Are you a coach, consultant, or personal brand and you want to package your expertise into a course? If you want to know how much to budget when creating an online course, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how much it costs to build an online course. <laughs> Hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time online life and business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things. And I wanted to do this video because I just finished completing my online course, my latest online course. In fact, it's more than a course. It's an entire coaching program. It's a 12 month coaching program. It's huge. There's like, like over 50 videos, like 10 modules. We have two staff coaches and growing, lots of people in there. So like, this is a jumbo program and it took me months to put together and I invested a lot of money. But again, I'm, you know, well established in my career now. I'm doing seven figures in my business. I was able to make this investment. Maybe you're not able to make this investment from the beginning. So I wanna talk about how much it costs to create a course and just some things to keep in mind as you are going through your business building journey and your coaching journey. And I'm also doing this video almost as a public service announcement because I personally have invested in other people's courses and, and programs, even group coaching programs. And if I'm honest, I've been disappointed in the quality of the program. Maybe the information was okay and I was able to take a nugget here from there and it was all right. But I, you know, I'm a big stickler for quality. You could probably tell with these videos and even how much uh, time and investment and even financial investment that I put in to do free videos, how much more am I gonna invest in my paid content, right? And it's just very disappointing to see people not do the same with their content. So I, I understand and can appreciate the message that's often shared online about how you don't wanna procrastinate and how you should just get something out there. And I think that's important to say because most people tend towards procrastination. The truth is most people don't believe in them. Themselves. Like, I'm just gonna say it flat out. Most people do not believe in themselves. They don't think highly of themselves. I'll do a whole nother video on why that is. I think some of it has to do with our education system and societal programming and all of that. But most people, by the time they get to adult age, do not think very highly of themselves. They think that there are those people who are successful and then there's them. And they think that they're in the them category. And so when they endeavor to do something or they have a goal, their default is procrastination and overthinking and never getting started because deep down they don't think that they're good enough to start. So I say that to say I understand why so much of the content out there is, you don't need to spend any money. It's easy to create a course. Just put something together. Just record your stream. Just throw up a PowerPoint slide. Da da da, you can do it. No money, super easy. <laughs> I get it because it's almost if you don't tell people that they won't take action. That said, I think we're swinging to the other end of the pendulum where so many people feel so empowered to create courses, which I think is great. I don't think it's too crowded at all. I think the course industry is growing, especially with the pandemic and online and people getting used to doing education on the computer. I think that there is a huge move towards online learning that's gonna be even bigger than what it is now. And I think that there's a great opportunity for people to create their own courses and coaching programs and get them online. And again, build that generational wealth for their family, grow their business, et cetera, et cetera. Because there is such a great opportunity, I want to stop us from swinging too far on the other end of the pendulum and just slapping courses together that are poor quality or low quality and don't have any effort, right? Again, if you are not a seven figure business yet, you might not be able to invest at the level that I did in my coaching program. And if you checked out my previous video, how to be uh, the best in your field, how to be the best in class, I'll admit I'm biased. I think that this is the best how to build a coaching business from scratch course and coaching program on the market, hands down. Um, and we'll put some links where you can take, look at some samples of the course to see what it looks like and also apply if you want to be a part of it. And also you can check out the end of that, how to be the best in your field video if you wanna see some real life, um, you know, screen grabs of what that course is. But again, I'm, I've worked very hard to get to this level. Everybody's not gonna be able to do that out the gate. And so in this video, I'm gonna go over the cost that you can expect when you're just getting started so that you can do something where you're gonna get it out, you're not gonna procrastinate, but it's also not gonna be some crappy slap together stuff. So with that, let's get into it. 
All right, so I'm gonna break this down into, we'll say three levels or three categories of entrepreneur or you know new course creator. You have your beginners, your intermediates, and your advanced. And so if you're a beginner, you don't need to make the hugest investment in your course because again, you're just beginning. You might wanna add information to it later as you yourself learn and grow. And also you still have to validate your idea. You have to validate that this is actually a course that people want to pay for. And so you don't wanna spend a ton of money on this only to not be able to sell it or to find out later that this might not be something that people are interested in. So the beginner costs that you can expect are um, a free or cheap course platform. So there's various course platforms out there. Some really popular ones are Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi, etc. And most of them have like beginner trial levels. I think Teachable might even have a completely free level. You just pay a percentage of your sales. It might be like 5% or something. They change all the time, so I don't know what it is as of this recording, but there are various um, course platforms platforms that allow you to host your course and share your content and maybe they'll take a percentage of your sales. Um, Thinkific I think is a good one that has a, a very generous free um, version that allows you to get most of your content up there for free and then you can sell it and then they're just gonna take some money off on the back end. So your course platform is gonna be free or cheap so you don't have to worry about that. Now most people will leave it there and they'll say oh the course platform is cheap just um, you know, get on your computer and screen share some stuff using the, the free software like Loom. Loom.com is a great software to record your screen. Also Mac has a, like QuickTime built in. I think Windows probably has a similar uh, feature where you can record your screen and then save those videos and then boom, you can upload those to your course. I know that's what most people will say. I'm gonna say, let's go a step further. Again, your course platform is either free or very cheap. Let's go a step further and let's spend $20. Can we spend $20? Okay. Let's spend $20 on some uh, graphic templates for your content. So let's say you wanna do a course and you want to do it like via PowerPoint or Keynote or some sort of slide show presentation and you want to record your screen. Instead of just throwing you know, some graphics up there. Let's pay. We can go to places like uh, creativemarket.com to get some templates, or we can pay for the upgraded version of canva.com for some upgraded templates. Let's get some nice PowerPoint templates that match our brand. You know, we should have a, a, at least an initial idea of what our brand should be, our colors, et cetera. And it lets at least make the PowerPoint slides match with our brand, right? The software to record your video is gonna be free and the course platform is gonna be free or very cheap. We can spend $20, right? We can spend $10 on some graphic templates in order to make our resulting videos look like something. So you're gonna put the content in the PowerPoint slide and then you're gonna use that free software. Again, it could be Loom, it could be QuickTime on your computer, what have you. You're gonna use that free software to record yourself as you go through your nicely designed that you spent 10 to $20 on PowerPoint slides and boom, you've got your content. And then you just upload it to whatever, Thinkific, Teachable, whatever course platform that you choose to use. And those platforms also will handle the sales as well. Cause again, that's how they're getting paid. They're gonna take a commission off your sales and voila. As a beginner, you now have a course. That's really all you need. So it doesn't have to be expensive, but that's the way that you can still do it, you know, very, very cheaply, but still be slightly elevated than perhaps other people who are just slapping some courses together. Let's let's get those PowerPoint templates looking like something. All right, so after you're a beginner, let's say you've validated your course, you've gotten a few sales and it's going pretty great. Now you've moved on to the intermediate level. And so at this level, if you're an intermediate entrepreneur or intermediate coach or course creator, I would recommend going for a paid course platform. Uh, for one, if you're making more sales, it's actually gonna be cheaper for you. So again, some of the course platforms won't charge you anything up front, but they're gonna take more off on the back end. If you pay for the platform, let's say you pay $50 a month, $100 a month or whatever for the platform. If you're making a lot of sales, you now don't have to pay either a commission fee at all or as big as a commission fee. And so the math works out where you're gonna take more home at the end of the day for selling your uh, program. Also, you're gonna have more advanced features when you pay for the course program. So maybe you can have little quizzes in your course platform. Maybe there's like, you know, logic with the quizzes where if they answer this correct, it'll move them on to the next step. But if they don't answer it correct, you know, they have to go back. So oftentimes those kind of 
of extra features typically aren't a part of the free version of the course platform. Typically they cost money. So your course platform is gonna be anywhere from like maybe 50 bucks a month to about 200 bucks a month. Um, at the time of this recording, I know Kajabi tends to be more expensive, but it's also all in one because you also wanna think about the sales and marketing of your course at this point. So when you're just a beginner, you just wanna get the course created and maybe you're just telling your immediate network about it and they can just buy it. But if you're intermediate, hopefully you have your brand built, you're posting on social media, you're looking to get sales from people who don't know you or who are not in your immediate network. And so you want to have landing pages and sales pages that look nice and that have all the information about what's inside the course. And so oftentimes your landing page software and your course platform are two different softwares, but there's certain course platforms like Kajabi being one of them where it could be all in one, but again, that's gonna come at a cost, but not super expensive. Again, anywhere from 50 to $200 a month, which is not too much if you are selling your course, right? If you haven't sold your course at all, go back to the beginner, you know, do it for 20 bucks, like we said with those uh, PowerPoint templates. But if you made some sales and you now wanna upgrade, I would definitely recommend investing in a paid course platform. Also at this point, I would also recommend outsourcing your graphic design. So in the previous um, part with the beginners, I said it was fine to use Canva, um, Creative Market, use a template that's already out there to make your uh, PowerPoint slides. At this level, I would recommend having your PowerPoint slides at least somewhat designed for your actual brand. Like it should have your logo on it. It should be designed based on what you're teaching. And also you wanna think about your worksheets, your PDFs. At this point, you wanna have this stuff designed like actually for you. So it's not a template that you're buying online. You're paying someone to design this, but it doesn't have to be very expensive. There are lots of overseas graphic designers who charge less than what it would cost for those of us here in the US or in some of the other uh, more expensive Western countries. Oftentimes you can find people all around the world who have really great skills who are willing to do it at a rate that works out to less for you based on the exchange rate. So you could take advantage of that and get it designed so it still doesn't have to be super expensive. Also at this point, you're also gonna be playing for um, some more advanced like marketing software. So again, at this point, we're focused on having a good course, but also marketing it. So you need email marketing, right? Don't you need to send emails to people who have joined your course to encourage them to go through the course so that you can get results? Don't you wanna send emails to people who have demonstrated an interest, but maybe they they haven't bought yet. Maybe you want to send them some follow-up emails and say, Hey, my course is on sale for 20% off for the next seven days. You know, make sure you sign up now. Those automated emails are just the ability to send mass emails, right? You don't want to be in Gmail sending an email that costs money. So um, there are services like MailChimp, ConvertKit. I really love Active Campaign. All of these are different softwares that you can use, but again, it's going to cost money. Typically these cost money on a sliding scale. If you have under about 500 subscribers, sometimes they have a free version, um, but they won't let you do anything advanced like automated send outs. So if you want to take advantage of some of the automation software, and if you have more subscribers, you're typically are going to pay $20 a month, $50 a month, even $99 a month. Um, so again, you know, now our, our costs are getting up there, maybe a few hundred a month. But again, if you're making sales on your course, that should more than cover it. But those are the intermediate costs that I would consider. Okay, we're gonna get into some more costs in just a second, but first I wanna hear from you. What are you thinking about creating a course on? Share in the comments below. All right, so after you've created your course, you've made some sales, you might be ready to truly up the ante and again, become the best in your field, right? So check out that video about becoming the best in your field. And like I said, I'm biased, but this program, check out the, the samples and the screen grabs, we'll link it and it's also in the previous video, Best in Field, where truly this is like <laughs> the best coaching program in terms of building a coaching program from scratch on the market. Yeah, I said it, um, but I paid a lot to get it that way, right? So I had some initial versions and we tweaked it and went back to the drawing board. This is like the third iteration. It has taken me months to get it here. And I've been in my coaching business for years, identifying what my clients want, what they need help with, where they struggle, and making sure that the course is perfectly aligned to their needs. So I am definitely at the level of advanced costs. And so you might not be here yet, but I'm just gonna share what they are so that there are some things that you can keep in mind or that you can look forward to. Um, so at this level, you wanna be paying for a professional videographer, right? Um, at this point beforehand, you might have been just recording everything on your computer screen, or maybe you've shot things yourself, maybe with your camera phone or with an inexpensive camera that you have like, you know, in your house. But even as I'm doing this, I'm working with a professional videographer, all the videos in my coaching program are uh, professionally shot. And so you do wanna spend the money on this because it makes such a big difference. And also you'll spend money working with instructional designers. 
guys. Now, this is something that I've done that I haven't seen pretty much anybody in the industry do. So again, we talk about being best in field, but I paid money to an instructional design team to extract all the information that I have in my head and make sure that it was ordered correctly so that my students can understand what I'm trying to get to them, right? It's one thing to be an expert and to know what you're talking about, but it's a whole nother thing to be able to communicate and educate it to someone else. And so you wanna work with people who have a background in uh, adult learning, instructional design, because they know the best way to order content so that people actually get it. So not only did I work with a professional videographer and I worked with a professional video editor as well, I forgot to mention that, but it was one thing to have the video shot, and then you have to have the videos edited so that they look a certain way, but beyond all that part of the reason why the videos in my program are so great beyond the way that they look is because I hired an instructional design team to ensure that I wasn't just rambling on camera like they took all of my information and scripted it in such a way so my videos are very precise very accurate like I dive in if it's a 20 minute video there's no fluff it's like I'm teaching you exactly what you need to know in that 20 minutes so you can get it and go so that's definitely an investment that you want to make also at this level you want to consider a white label course platform and that's what we done here. So I'm a big stickler, you know, at this level in the game, it's all about my brand, right? When you come into the world of Courtney L. Sanders, everything is CLS, everything is Courtney Sanders, the logo, the branding, all of that. And so I didn't really like some of the other uh, course platforms, um, Teachable, Thinkific, et cetera, because I felt very restricted that even though it was supposed to be my brand and my content, it still looked like Teachable or it still looked like Kajabi or it still looked like Thinkific. So I made the investment to invest in a um, professional white label uh, coaching and course platform. My platform is not only a course platform, but it has the ability to uh, receive coaching. So people who come through my program, not only um, do they get on Zoom calls with my team of coaches, et cetera, they can send messages directly to me and my staff of coaches as they are going through the, the coaching program. And I felt that that was really important because that's the best way to get back to people and to make sure that they are learning the information. So I spent a lot of money. I invested heavily in the actual course tech. Again, this is a white label solution that we found that was custom to my business. And so the name of the game at the advanced level basically is customization, right? I have an in-house graphic designer that designs all of my worksheets. Again, I'm working with professional videographers, professional video editors, an instructional design team. At this level, I also have support staff. So I have support coaches who help coach my students. I also have dedicated members on my team who are available for the tech. I have dedicated billing, you know, people who can help you if you need to switch your credit card for your payment or you want to change your payment plan or all of that stuff. I have dedicated resources to ensure that everybody's experience is really great. So again, it took me a lot to get to this level. This is a level that I feel like I've just reached in my business, but I wanted to share that with you so that you can have an idea of what you have to look forward to. All right, so hopefully you have a greater understanding of what the costs are involved in creating your own course. And if you're looking to do more than create a course, you actually want to create a coaching program. And beyond that, you actually want to create a coaching business. I invite you to join me in my next big name program. We have enrollment opening, like I said, it's amazing, best in class. If you want to apply, learn more about it, and then enroll if we have spots available, you can click the link below to apply to the next big name. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want even more, come on over to Instagram. It's Courtney L. Sanders, where I share behind the scenes of my life as well as more information just like this. And if you can't wait until my next Instagram post, make sure that you are subscribed to my podcast, The Courtney Sanders Show on both iTunes and Spotify. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.